Alex, can you play for us what Jace Tingler had to say? Well, yeah, I got to explain what it is because it won't make any sort of sense if I just play it straight up. This is the question was asked multiple times, according to reporters, why he didn't do the double switch with with Kim, which then led to having that pitcher spot keep mm -hmm. coming up right after Cronenworth in the fifth spot. And this was his answer. I question. We, we, we just, you know, win as is. And, you know, we were trying to, you know, obviously score runs, but obviously keep them off the board. And, and, and ultimately that's, you know, that that's what we did. Browner. Yeah. There's your manager, Browner. <laughs> there's your man. What is that even answer? What? That's not like some I say. What are you talking about? You know, Alex, it was a really great setup. If you could go back to it, set it up again, and then we'll listen to it again. The questions were about the double switch. And what, what he did was is he he took out – well, go ahead. You explain it because – Yesterday, Aaron Nola was hitting right. fifth. Austin mm -hmm. Nola, excuse me. Aaron, his brother, who almost no hit us. Um, and when this, 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 this rule came into effect, so he didn't want Nola to lead off at sec – or to be the runner on second base. Mm -hmm. So he pinch ran with Hassan Kim at second base. They did not score, obviously. So instead of doing a double switch where then you can take put Kim into Frazier's spot and put the pitcher spot at eighth instead of fifth to be right behind your two best hitters, he decided to leave Frazier in, and thus the pitcher spot became that fifth spot, which, which is, is why, why Dave, which, Robert, right, which, Dave Roberts walked Right, you, you would, Machado, Cronin were three innings in a row, right. and then you had Musgrove, Weathers, and uh, Cam, did Camarena? Yes, Camarena did hit. Yeah, Cam, no, he didn't. No hit. grand slam. He didn't hit, but he got he got an at bat. So that's exactly right. right. So so when you were wondering, well, why he would walk Manny Machado, he would walk Cronenworth mm -hmm. because he's getting to Musgrove. He's didn't care about Weathers. loading bases or anything right. like that at and, all. Just and, and you know, if you were watching the game at this point, the announcers were like, "Well, Musgrove can hit. Well, Weathers can hit." Well, Camarena hit a grand slam. It's like just cover it. It's just like guys. Cover, it's like guys. Really, here's the thing. All we're talking about now is is that pitchers are going to save the day with their bats. Come on, fellas. Seriously, I mean, I mean, how many times did the Padres just need a sack fly and they couldn't nope, even they get couldn't. that? So the, the um, man was out there managing for a miracle, and it wasn't coming. You, you like know what he, he was, was doing, but all at the same time, though, like let's not forget something happened with Will Myers. He got taken yes, out early. That's fair. Um. He put in Marisnik, and then Marisnik never even got an at bat, so he just wasted Marisnik. Because I think he pinch hit with Tommy Pham, and then that when it was clear that whoever hit there was going to get intentionally walked too, so they he pinch hit for Marisnik with Tommy Pham. Tommy Pham got intentionally walked, so it was like a wash. <laughs> so Marisnik was just a waste of a player. I would tell you, like there was so many things you left Blake Snell in. Uh, for the eighth inning, I Will didn't Smith have a problem with that. Home. I, I, I had a huge I, problem. With I didn't that. have a huge problem Massive with it either because I, I thought, you know what, if I'm a player and I can convince my manager to, to let my team ride on my back, I thought it was actually a gutsy performance. And I'm you, cooking. You know what I thought though? I when I listen to to, to Jay Stingler, and we'll play it again. Here's my thought: That's a guy playing not to win. He's a, mm. you know how, like you know the difference between mm. like playing not to lose versus playing yeah. to win. Like like to me, that's a guy that's playing defense rather than playing offense. I heard somebody call him that's a good point. I heard somebody call him Norv Tingler instead of Jace <laughs> Tingler. Like they called him Norv Tingler because he, he the only the only like the only rationale there is no rationale, but the only rationale if you're Jace Tingler is obviously nobody expected this game to go 16 innings. So every game in baseball ends at the 11th now. Like that's just Roughly, like the yeah. longest they go. That's the longest they go. So if you're managing to win immediately, that makes sense. And no one ever expected you to go 16. So it gets highlighted when you when your offense stinks. Just the simple well, fact. But, but like, play it one more time because I mean you talk about a guy who just doesn't have an answer, you know, and and gets called out essentially for not having an answer. Play it one more time. I, we 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 just you know win as is and you know we were trying to you know obviously score runs but obviously keep them off the board and and, and ultimately that's you know that that's what we did. You know what, man? Win as is. Win as is. I just love how how <laughs> when he was hired, man, all you heard about he's an energy guy. He relates Ugh. to the players. He's a guy who really knows the game. No, no, no. He's a guy who worked underneath AJ Preller in Texas philosophically he buys into what aj preller is selling and aj preller can control him and the padres listen i'm saying it okay maybe people don't want to hear it i'm saying it the padres have made one monster mistake in all of this 
organizational. They put all of their faith and their trust into Preller. And Preller doesn't have a track record of success. It's no different than what the Chargers did with Tom Telesco. Okay? We'll talk more about this coming up.